Switch on the ignition. The charge light on the dash should light up and go out when you start the engine. This indicates that the alternator is charging the battery. Turn the engine off. Switch on the headlights of the vehicle, then start the engine and see if the lights brighten significantly. If they do, then this indicates that the alternator is charging the battery more than it is being drained by the lights. If you do not have someone else to start the engine for you, judge the brightness by shining the lights onto a reflective surface such as a wall. Check that the battery casing and the terminals are in good condition. This can generally be achieved just with a visual inspection. However, since the battery may be located in a position where you cannot see all of it, you may have to remove it to complete the inspection after performing any other on-car tests. A sealed or low-maintenance battery has no removable cell covers, so you cannot adjust or test the fluid levels inside. However, some of these do have visual indicators that provide information on the status of the charge and condition of the battery cells. Each manufacturer provides details of these visual indicators, so refer to these when undertaking an inspection. If the battery is not a sealed unit, it will have removable caps or bars on top. Remove them and look inside to check the level of the battery fluid, which is called the electrolyte. If the level is below the tops of the plates and their separators inside, add distilled water or water with a low mineral content until it just covers them. Be careful not to overfill the cells as they could boil over when charging. Test the specific gravity of each of the cells by using a hydrometer designed for battery testing. Draw some of the electrolyte into the tester and look at the float inside it. A scale indicates the relative charge state of the battery by measuring how high the float sits in relation to the fluid level. A very low overall reading of 1150 or below indicates a low state of charge. A high overall reading of about 1300 indicates a high state of charge. The reading from each cell should be the same. If one or two cells are very different from the rest, that indicates there is something wrong with the battery. Select the volts DC position on your DVOM and attach the probes to the battery terminals, red to positive and black to negative. With all vehicle accessories switched off and the battery at 70 degrees Fahrenheit or 21 degrees Celsius, the voltage reading should be 12.6 volts if the battery is fully charged. This will be slightly lower at cooler temperatures. Measure the continuous load capability of the battery with a load tester. Refer to the manual of the particular tester for its operating instructions. A load tester induces a high rate of discharge in the battery, like the load created by a cranking starter motor. A battery is rated in amper hours which means that it can supply a certain number of amperes for a specified length of time under continuous load. Another measurement used is international standard cold cranking amps. Check the specifications for the battery you are testing. If it can meet these specifications under a load test, then it is in good condition. There are different makes and types of load testers. Always use the equipment manufacturer's recommended testing procedure. فراموش نکنید که توی کانال سابسکرایب کنید، زنگوله رو به صدا در بیارید و کانال رو با دیگر دوستانتون به اشتراک بذارید. تا ویدیوی بعدی روز روزگار خوش. فراموش نکنید که توی کانال سابسکرایب کنید و کانال رو با دیگر دوستانتون به اشتراک بذارید. تا ویدیوی بعدی روز روزگار خوش.